Hello, Froggy here. Today we'll be getting a different view of the corridors of time. So you want to pocket enemy. This is uh, the same uh, pocket finisher spot that JV3 showed in his video about the golden cyclops out of map. And I'll uh, give a link to that below for those of you who haven't seen it. So this may take uh, several tries. It definitely took me a few. But if it all goes well, you should spawn outside of the map. And uh, we're going to be heading towards the center. And the uh, so if you look at the lower floor that you can see here, that will kill you if you land on it. But the upper floor is safe. And over to the left. That is where we will be going. Here I briefly considered going to check out the Golden Cyclops, which you can see if you just continue straight that way and fly over. So I've been doing a lot of messing around with the corridors of time. And I know that the rooms are located a little bit away from the main area. And there's at least one that's on top of another one. And when I explored down here, I saw something that very much looks like them. So uh, we'll see that in a bit. I want to jump out of the little cage that we've put ourselves in. With the pocket finisher, there are no cages. You can see uh, as we jump down that there are, in fact, uh, the little doors that rise up when you're uh, exploring around here. Well, I mean, we are doing like the um, regular mission type things. So I'm just hovering here a bit because I don't want to be falling too fast because if you do that, you'll miss everything. But as you can see, we are going much further down than we would be able to uh, in any other part of the map. Unfortunately, you're still kind of contained in this little area. You can see the pretty scenery. And we're coming up on the rooms. There's also an interesting thing to the right if you pay attention. Although it isn't quite visible now. You can just see little bits of it. But there's a purple thing to the right. But these four white rooms. I believe the bottom one's the one you come into. And then the uh, two on the left you definitely use, and the one above I'm less sure about, but I imagine that's one of the three. I haven't measured that one. For uh, those of you who don't know, you can use the uh, scope on Darcy or many of the other snipers to kind of get a sense of direction. So if you have a fire team member, you can use Darcy to figure out the angles between hidden areas. I'm just gonna drop down again so we can see how that uh, kind of purple thing to the right changes because you didn't really get a good sense of what it is the first time. Now we just kind of flutter. I have catapult lift on because a catapult lift gives you an initial burst that you get back over time. So it's great for stalling uh, your fall pretty much indefinitely. You can use the sword to help uh, buy yourself time to charge more if you like start to run out. But as you can see, that thing has rotated more into view. It's kind of wild looking. I imagine we'll probably go there at uh, one of these weeks or something like that. Keep in mind that it's likely in another load zone, so we are only seeing artifacts of it probably. But you know, if you just drop down, that's uh, about what you see. You don't have much time to examine what is happening. But if you uh, hover with your sword, you can actually get a nice uh, long view of the uh, whatever that object is rotating. So 
So I've also had some luck getting around inside the corridors of time, but the uh, physics there is kind of different than what you normally see. See, there are rotating segments of that purple thing in these four rooms. Which seems to uh, confirm my thoughts that there are only three rooms that uh, kind of get cycled around. We'll have to see if this is what it looks like on future weeks. If we still have this bug in future weeks. Yeah. Uh, check it out while you still can, and enjoy! <laughs>